Good morning. Welcome to 50 Questions Friday for May 6th of 2022. Let's see. All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, and again, if you are joining us live, please do put your questions over here on the questions tab and on the chat side here, um, here live at Livestorm. Uh, please do jump in and chat with everybody. We have a great group of people that are always on. And if you are watching um, after the fact on YouTube, you are welcome to join us live. Uh, just simply go to twistedsage.com, sign up for the newsletter. All right. So, and of course, we've got people here from everywhere. Hello, New Mexico, Australia, Maine. Um, so let's see. I guess we'll start with, uh, I guess, an energetic update. Um, so last week I was kind of, kind of out. Uh, I would have probably canceled 50 Questions Friday, um, but didn't want to do that. Um, I know we were going to do a meditation last week too, um, which we talked a little bit about, and we'll probably do that here this week um, with the quantum mind activation, the brain balancing, all of that. Uh, let's see what else has been going on. Um, you know, last week was a time for such huge de deep transformations. And I know things have been going on this week with a lot of people too. Everything's different for people, but a lot of it's been in the physical. Cause I know a lot of us have been, um, dizzy, just don't really feel like we are, you know, truly in the body. That was, you know, a lot last week uh, of people it's, um, you know, and then this week I feel little flows of anxiety, waves of anxiety coming through. Um, and then for like Brenda, she would feel it differently and her partner, Julie would feel a little bit differently, but we're all, we're all sensing that, you know, that, that shift of so much going on in all aspects of what we are, um, you know, because the, the shift that is taking place is not just in this little confined space of the human. This is throughout everything that we are as a soul. So it's not just a human level shift that we're in the middle of. We are in the middle of soul level shifts, um, you know, because soul level and yes, totally soul level, because, you know, the work that we do with the meditations, with the wisdom rings, um, with this new energetics, it is making the soul shine brighter because basically it is taking all of that experience from the human, turning that into wisdom and light and the soul shines brighter. Um, pretty, pretty amazing. You guys, what we are doing right now. Um, so anyway, that's a uh, kind of an energetic update for, you know, us personally, what's been going on. Um, I don't know if I spoke about it last week, but there was a new energy that came in. Um, it was like the core light of Twisted Sage. So we've been working in this this new energy here over the past, you know, two to three weeks um, since about the fifth of of April, actually, is is when this came through or when this came in. Um, and it is that light which is you as this giant sun in creation within a universe that is all of your creation creator and creation so there is that aspect of you um that giant sun and then there is the human in the here now moment and then the third component of this is that heart of the earth that blue white electric blue light that comes up from the heart of the earth and envelops the, the human and starts to just pull off those things that no longer serve and then your light comes in and alchemizes the things that the earth does not pull off alchemizes it into a new energy for creation so um that you know that was the energy that came in and then we saw a similar energy with this core light of twisted sage because twisted sage has traditionally been um you know it's been kind of a, a cohesive energy space uh, of everybody who works here everybody who creates here um you know all under the umbrella of twisted sage and and the authority templates the tools um, you know, myself as the master builder, all of this, all, all of our higher selves. 
But now then this core energy of Twisted Sage is different. It's like this star that came up that was birthed out of Earth and out of creation. And it's this star. Um, and it's just this golden white light. So a couple of days ago, I made a, I twisted up a set of um, wisdom rings, the one and a half inch wisdom ring pendants. Um, so when we twisted uh, these new pendants, I brought in that that core light of twisted sage instead of this other new energy, because to me, they, they're very similar. They're a part of each other. So I brought in that new energy of twisted sage into these rings, and they were totally different than than this other new new energy we've been working in. And so I had, you know, we were sitting there with Brenda and she took one of the, the, the new energy rings and then that one of that the light of twisted sage. And, and I don't remember which one was which, but she's like, okay, one of these is really hot and one of them's cool, clear waters. And we are like, well, yeah, we, we want to merge these energies because they're all part of the same thing. So that's what we did is we merged those energies along with Heimdall, the guardian of the third templates, um, you know, he always presents to Brennan in a funny way. This time he presented as um, he puts on his Merlin gear, his his wizard hat, his wizard clothes. And he comes in and he just spins his finger and drops the etheric templates into those particular rings. Um, you know, just fun, lighthearted being um, the guardian of the templates who, who um, basically when Brennan and I create, um, then he helps put those into the templates of the tools. And then that goes into the physical tool. And he's that guardian that um, always ensures that everything here is very well guided, guarded, protected. Um, and then basically those templates work with the soul and your soul is the one who determines what comes through for the highest and best good of you. Um, so anyway, the, the, the energetics of, of that new creation, then it's like a, heat with cool clear waters um and it's something greater than what was there before so i know that this entire energy component that i've been discussing is going to we're going to keep finding more parts and parcels of this until we have a whole and complete picture of this energetic component which to me is going to be pretty exciting um and i'll discuss more on some of the things that we've been working with and dealing with that i feel we will totally be able to clear and integrate all these soul aspects that have been given us issues once we bring all of this bigger picture in with this new energy space. Um, but the point of this is, is that we have now put this newest, newest energetics into the one and a half inch wisdom ring, not the ones that you already own, but this is this whole new batch that I made up. So we have about 60 of these rings that we're putting on clearance. Um, they used to be 38 bucks. We're, we're putting them 20% off at, at 30 bucks. So under the wisdom rings, you can go and find those clearance of that one and a half inch wisdom ring or wisdom ring pendant. And that carries that newest, newest energy. Um, and I really don't know where we're going with energies right now. So, I mean, for new tools, things like that, we're just kind of playing it moment by moment. But the newest, newest energy, um, that of that light of Twisted Sage and that light of you as creator and the earth and all of that, that is now in that one and a half inch wisdom ring. Um, as you can see, I should have one in my pocket. I do. Yeah, that's this little one right here. So if you go to that wisdom ring page, you'll see that we're actually um, going to be making a newer wisdom ring. It's a heavier gauge, just a little bit bigger in diameter. Um, and that particular one, uh, yeah, that's it's, it's going to have the same energetics. So these ones will be a, a bit cheaper, one, because they're on clearance and they're a lighter gauge. So these ones are a little bit easier to make. So if you are interested in that newest, newest energy and a little bit of a lighter ring, um, we have those right now uh, here in a few weeks. Once these are gone, we will then bring out that little bit heavier gauge and a little bit larger uh, ring. So anyway, pretty exciting, super, super exciting stuff. Um, 
Coming back here to chat tab. Got some people from, hey, Marin from Berlin, uh, Florida. Hey, Samson. I'll see you this maybe tomorrow. All right. So um, we will go ahead and head over here to the questions tab. So if you do have any questions here, please do drop them yeah. in. All right, and this is from John. A question about tools we already own and the new energy. Will our tools get an upgrade to the new energy like the HECA clasp? Um, so, no, not not right now, not yet, because I really feel that we're going to be going towards that space. I, I really feel that's where we're going is once we find this whole new energy component, that that will be dropped into every tool we've ever created. Um, as of right now, there's still people that need a certain frequency of tool. And so we're not going to go through and change all the tools across the board yet because some people are still needing to step in at a certain space to be taken there. So my intention is, is that with these new energies and these new fields, is my intention is is that um, when you look at any single tool that you will feel the step that you're stepping in at so that you're not stepping into something that is brings anxiety or you just don't want to go to because of you know it's a whole different vibration so this whole concept of this escalator elevator thing that you step into here and you are just taken to the highest level of release and consciousness and creation possible. Um, you know, because it's, it's the whole concept of consciousness. So, you know, we, we've discussed about how you can find a being that is in a higher dimension density plane, but that does not make them wiser, more heart based, any of that thing. It has to do with the level of consciousness, the level of light a being holds is how much empathy, how much, um, you know, they are there in the highest and best of all of creation is higher consciousness. So um, anyway, going back to this whole concept of, of answering the question about will all of our tools have this energy? And I really feel eventually they will that we'll be able to shift all of those tools once we totally figure out this entry point, this entry point that resonates with wherever a person is at in level of consciousness, in level of frequency, vibration, um, all of it. So that way a person can find the level that they resonate at and step in and go to wherever this is with their higher connection. Um, so as of right now, the tools that are already out there in the world that you already own, they're going to still carry the same energetic, though I would like to also put in that as we shift the entire spectrum of our etheric templates, as our, we bring in new tools, it basically shifts any of your older tools. They are still going to begin to shift in frequency, vibration, ability, consciousness all of that so even though you have some of the older tools from twisted sage they are still always stepping up in frequency and vibration they may not be this exact energetic but they're always raising because like the chalice energy is in all of the tools that we create now i mean it just permeated everything um so one of these days we will I feel get to the point to where all energetics are the same. All right. So, um, yeah, we didn't have too many people on here live this morning. Um, our email went out with the, um, the email with the new HECA clasps. Um, cause we have the wisdom HECA clasps now, which is copper it's a little bit thicker gauge um, and we sent off the email with the 50 questions Friday there. So I'm not sure if everybody got that or not. Um, so anyway, if anybody else has any other questions here, um, otherwise 
we'll jump into a meditation. Um, so the uh, what we were going to work on last week, uh, and, and I'd like to talk a little bit about, you know, what we've seen, you know, starting in 2020, really is that, you know, people were starting to just go crazy, nuts. It has to do with a brain imbalance. It's not, it, it's, it's across the board, um, you know, because people have always talked about how the, the body is changing, it's moving from the, the old form of, um, you know, nerves and cellular communication, things like that. As the light body comes in, it is, it, it's allowing um, a whole different way of, of interfacing with the body with that innate of the body. Um, it, so it's bringing online the light body basically. Um, but then the brain has been one of the ones that it's always processed things differently. The brain was built um, for the human, for the old way of, of receiving information, you know, of working with the ego, of soul growth learning. We were here for experience. So that was what our system was made for we're stepping into something who knows what it is um i feel we're stepping into um our creatorship you know we're, we're able to step in as creators because we're already uncreating the things that no longer serve us and and stepping into being able to use consciousness to shift physical reality around us you know i give the story about my sister who if i have a rib out my sister brenda i can text her and I can feel her pushing my rib back into place. That is the use of consciousness in physical reality. Same with when you're working with your water, you know, the, the, the studies from Dr. Emoto and the rice studies were huge because it shows how emotions can affect physical reality, but emotions are not very powerful. Well, they're powerful in this old paradigm, but when we step into a different space of creation, emotions do not even you know they they don't have the influence here so the more consciousness we hold the less influence of the emotions the old programs beliefs all of that stuff the less influence they have on our creation um gosh sorry i don't even know where i'm going with all of this i guess what oh yeah where i'm going with all of this is uh the whole concept of the brain balancing um, you know, because we noticed here, especially, oh gosh, here in April of twenty of twenty twenty two, it seemed really prevalent of the imbalances in the brain, um, and so that's when we brought in the halo. Jeez, I don't even have my halo with me. You, I usually wear a, I wear my halo a lot. Just a plain single wire halo it looks like an Easter egg. Um, then we have the ones with the infinity too, but just the regular halo is the first one that we brought through that, um, first or second week of April. And the energetics in that are, are that new energy of, you know, of you as the sun and that, that crystal heart of the earth and, and you as the human in the here now. So that's the energy that this new, that new energy brings through, but then the halo we also brought in the quantum mind activation. So that's what we'll do next here is um, as soon as we're done with questions, we'll go through this meditation of activating the quantum mind. Um, and I'll just tell a little bit more about that when we go to, to do the meditation. We'll double check questions here. Um, hey, Andre, any idea when you will offer online classes? We really don't know yet. Um, that was going to be a winter project and now spring is here and I don't know for sure when we're going to be doing online classes. Um, but we certainly will. Uh, we certainly will. Any recommendation of your tools for people that have some of those feelings, negative thoughts to start? So um, I would suggest anything in this newer energy, even like this wisdom this one and a half inch wisdom ring pendant, um, the halo, it kind of depends on what the person would, would wear or utilize. Um, you know, you can use this even in the pocket. It's going to do great things or, or a pendant. The halo is a good one. We are, 
We're working on it right now um, to to amplify. Well, let's see. Okay, so let me step back and say that um, yeah, for that thing with all the the negative thoughts of the voices, all of that, um, the halo is a good one. But within this new energy field, um, we're going to we're, we're we're still working with this new energy. And my intention is, is that with this new energy and our updates to it, and it will update to anything that we have in the new energy, whether it is the wisdom generator bracelets, the alchemist Taurus, the um, alchemy water ring, um, the one and a half inch wisdom ring, um, the halos. I think that's all we have this new energy in right now. Uh, but anything in this new energy, we will keep updating. And I feel that we're going to get to the point to where we can do this quantum mind activation and just um, not only the balancing of the brain, like with the halo, but going farther yet with, with the voices and the things we're seeing as soul aspects. Now, soul aspects, which we'll discuss right now, soul aspects have been pretty prevalent hardcore coming to the surface bringing their traumas bringing their belief structures bringing their entity attachments bringing their um in energetic implants and bringing their old soul contracts um all the stuff and it seems like some of these aspects that come in um because i was telling you the story of when i had a soul aspect that would step in and every time I jumped on my motorcycle, it would show me rolling across the highway and my daughter mourning my death. And it, I knew it was me and I thought it was the ego, but it was an aspect of my soul that came in and just projected its fear, its traumas, um, everything else onto me and into my experience. And so after we cleared that, after we found out this, what it was, we cleared it. Then I was on a mission to clear all soul aspects that I possibly could. When I did that energy work, that consciousness work, it's like the room got quiet. Um, I never knew there was that much chatter. My mom, we did the same for her. We did not realize that she'd been having a lot of negative self-talk, a lot of things going on there. So we stepped in and we did the consciousness work for her, um, inviting in, you know, bringing her into alignment. It's kind of like the meditation that we did on, I believe, December 5th of bringing everything into zero point space. So December 5th meditation, if you want to try this, go ahead and do that meditation, but with the intention of bringing in all your soul aspects and integrating them. Um, and so that meditation will, will help to do that. Um, but anyway, so these soul aspects, once we did this with my mom and integrated, it's like she, it's like everything became quiet for her too. She didn't have that, that anxiety. Um, it shifted everything for her. So that is our, our next really step in this energetics and these new energetics is to helping to bring in more of those soul aspects that just aren't that aren't ready to just jump in. You know, and that's the thing right now, the space is held with these new tools and these new energies for all your soul aspects that are ready to integrate, to come in, to integrate, to bring in all of their experience, experience, to bring in their wisdom, their light to you, to the soul. And that is part of what the quantum mind, the higher mind is working with, too, is it is wisdom. So when we're bringing in wisdom, it's not something that is, is able to be utilized through the mind, through the old system uh, of the human. This wisdom and light and consciousness that we're bringing in is a part of this new energy body. I mean, it, it's um, when that halo, when that halo, when I first saw it being put on, that halo brings this electric blue light energy up over the brain and it even goes into the soft tissue of the brain. And, and then that connects into, I'm assuming, the rest of the light body. Um, but anyway, this is what is happening anyway with humanity. But doing the meditations, using the tools is going to help us step through it with a lot more grace and ease. Um, 
Let's see. So we'll keep going with questions here. I just received my Halo and Halo Infinity today and have tried it on my autistic son who said he found the Infinity Halo stronger and said his thoughts calmed. We both like to wear it backwards with Infinity over the brainstem at the base of the skull. And that is very interesting because there is, it seems to be about half the people that I hand the Infinity Halo to, even though it's formed to fit on the front, most people put it on the back of the head. Now, what we're seeing is, is that, yes, the, the Halo with the Infinity is stronger, but they're holding the same field. They're doing the same thing. Now, what I like about wearing the one with the Infinity is to me, because I can feel that energetics of the Infinity, I feel that stronger sitting right there. And it gives a visualization. So I imagine that the Infinity goes through and balances. It connects the left and right brain all the way through. And then I imagine that Infinity then just going like this sideways so that it goes upwards and connects to my higher mind, the quantum mind. So to me with that halo, the infinity is a great visual aid. It is a little bit more potent. Yes. Um, but the energetics is going to be the same between that $36 halo and the $137 infinity halo. Um, but man, I, I totally recommend those halos. They are pretty flipping phenomenal. Um, but yeah, so that's interesting that that you are finding that um, <laughs> you know your your son likes that that infinity on the back, and I'm really glad that that started to calm the thoughts too, um, you know. And so we're going to keep updating energetically the halo and any of the new tools that we've that we're coming through right now um, because they're not. I feel like we still have a little ways to go on bringing more in. Um, and so I really feel at some point in time that we're going to be able to utilize these fields to clear those aspects that I was speaking of. Um, so that's kind of what my, my mission is right now is to um, bring through the energetics to help clear aspects because it is huge in how they affect us. Um, Let's see another question. I did a healing session with three hoops, tuning forks, and energy added in an ascension pyramid in Organite. The person said they woke up the next morning with extra energy. The only difference was added was the pyramid. Is that an expected result? Um, so, e yes, definitely. the The ascension pyramid. The Ascension Pyramids really are holding one of the most powerful spaces for us to be within, you know, the, the larger Ascension Pyramids um, or even the 18-inch the desktop one when you hang it and you're underneath of it. Um, these pyramids truly are one of the most transformational spaces. Um, so, yes, you know, and, and adding adding whatever other energetics to harmonize with that is absolutely appropriate whatever it is that you feel to add but truly just that um the energetics within these pyramids is so transformational um and as a matter of fact our we have um this one over here is our original pyramid and that's the original bosnian um, base pyramid. There's this giant ring right here. It's a 44 inch ring that goes around this pyramid that I just put on there yesterday. Holy shit. That is in the new, new energy too, but those ones are for sale. We're actually making, um, we're actually making some large 44 inch rings originally for this style of chamber back here. Our friend, um, Bill is, uh, he does giant geometry structures in Egypt and Poland and in Chicago. And he makes beds similar to this that he puts inside of his giant structures. So anyway, these giant rings back here were, we make for him, but somebody just ordered a whole bunch of those custom made for a orchard, which is exciting. So we have these giant 44 inch rings that are going to go around um, trees 
and that's going to be pretty amazing super excited for this one um so anyway but anyway the the point was is that that giant ring that i put on the the original ascension pyramid um shifted all the pyramids yesterday um it's just bringing through more more of the energetics of, of this newer energy that we're working in oh uh, let's see so i think we will go ahead and jump over to uh the meditation unless anybody has any other questions here this morning <clears throat> so um okay so for the meditation the the meditation that we did for the um for for going to the quantum mind uh the quantum mind is the higher mind it, it's it's more it's more connecting to the, the the soul um so when you put on that halo and that light comes over um part of that energetics of the halo is the balancing of the brain and the connecting to the quantum mind now we do this activation when we do the sacred heart activation um it's just been a part of that meditation so we'll go ahead and we'll jump in uh to do this meditation we're going to do the sacred heart activation for any of those of you who have not done that before uh basically the sacred heart it's it's your light it's a golden light a golden fire that exists within the heart uh, the soul is the one that comes in and activates this the sacred heart now the sacred heart is the thing that you always see the pictures of jesus and mary depicted with that gold flame heart it's it's the christ consciousness whatever but it's it's your light it is just a facet a flavor of your soul's light and so that golden fire it's it's such a powerful powerful energy it's something that we put into the golden fire generators which will then even harmonize a 5g millimeter wave i mean this light is powerful um and, it, and it's you <laughs> it's you um it's a facet of your soul's light so we'll activate the sacred heart then we're going to set the pineal gland on fire we're going to balance the brain and connect into that quantum mind um so we'll just go ahead and jump through this meditation and um yeah all right so close your eyes if you wish we'll go into the heart space so putting your attention onto your physical heart where you find your light your soul's fire imagining going heart to heart with the earth and breathing in that beautiful loving supporting light of the earth up through the feet and into your heart next we connect heart to heart with creation source soul creator god you as a central sun in creation breathing in that light that support that transformative alchemizing energy into the heart now as we take a deep breath in we breathe in that electric blue light of the earth that just surrounds us we breathe in that beautiful alchemizing light of source soul creator as you are in this space and in the heart the earth just envelops you with her light your light comes in more fully into the physical now we imagine and we ask and we intend that your soul stands in front of you puts its hand on your heart and activates that sacred heart just taking in that breath allowing your soul to do the work is it is that light that fire comes around the heart imagine that light that fire flowing into every cell of your body in between every cell and then we imagine that fire that light going up around the pineal gland right in the middle of the brain and it just sets that pineal on fire now we imagine the infinity the figure eight on its side that just starts to connect the left and right brain just infinity after infinity it opens up the right brain hemisphere and it just connects all the way through 
connecting, balancing. And you're not doing this. It's just an allowing. Your soul is doing the work. Your intention is there. Now we imagine that infinity going upwards to the higher mind, to the quantum mind. As that connects to that space beyond the mind, you may find that field of universal peace. You may find more of your light. If there's any heavy feeling, just allow your light to come in as your light permeates into the physical, into every cell of your body, in between every cell. If you get dizzy, just see yourself as that column of light, grounded, connected. Know you are okay, you are supported, greatly supported. So just allow your light, your soul to step fully into you here now. That light within every cell of the body, that light around the brain, around the head. As that light comes in, it alchemizes energies that no longer serve blockages old things just allow the release perhaps you even allow the release of your entire self that which you created in the old way it's simply a choice of allowing the soul to release all that no longer serves you and just allowing it to go, allowing it to transform into wisdom, into consciousness. Beautiful. I hope you feel that, that subtle shift in the brain. Now then we just ask that our soul's light comes in and harmonizes harmonizes everything, the physical, mental, emotional, your creation. Just ask your soul light to harmonize everything. Okay, awesome. Well, Till next time, um, it's a beautiful, exciting journey. It really is. And the more we can surrender and allow and just know that everything is so good right now. Everything that is happening to you is happening for you. And if it feels chaotic, if it feels painful, Surrender more. Surrender more and allow. It's painful when we hold on. Um, so it's a beautiful ride and we can't help but to have everything happening for us in the highest and best right now. Truly, truly. So the more that you can trust and surrender and allow um, the easier and faster we'll go. So anyway, see you all next time. Enjoy your week.